is if you shoot a beam of light out, yeah. then it eventually it will come back and hit you in the head. Mm. Right. Right? So there'd be a curve in the universe. So there'd be a curve in the universe. Mm. So the question then is, can we detect that curve? So right. what we do is, we look at the oldest light that we can, which is a right. cosmic microwave background, mm. and we say, how is that light distributed if the universe is curved or not curved? Mm. Okay? So if it's curved, we'll see this pattern. If it's not curved, we'll see this pattern. Now, which pattern do we see? What we see is the one that's not curved. Yeah. So either then, the universe is infinitely big, yeah. or it's just so big, yeah. it could be finite, but, but we can't find the curvature. Okay, here's my Do you see what I mean? Like if you're, like right now, you can't tell the curvature of the Earth. You can't, you can't see that the Earth is curved, right? Yeah. Why? Because the patch that we're standing on yeah, is so much so, smaller yeah, okay. than the, the thing that you're on. So either the thing that you're on is infinitely big, mm. or it's just so much bigger than what you can detect. Right. So, so the universe is like that. It's either infinitely big, mm. or it's, it's just much bigger than any right. finite curvature. If, if, um, if science was able to say, okay, it's finite, yeah. what, would, what would their thing be? What's after that? Well, I don't think if it if were finite, I mean. if it were finite mm. you don't i mean you don't have to assume that space is expanding into some other space it's right. space itself can stretch right so you don't need the assumption that there's something beyond the universe yeah there could be something beyond the universe i, I don't think it would be correct to say oh, you can rule God. that out <laughs> right well, well of course the popular idea is there are many universes yeah. in which case what's beyond our universe mm is another universe yeah. right and in between that and is so a stretching space yeah. is, is inflating space yeah. right well of course you know we don't know yeah. but if the universe was finite yeah. um there wouldn't need to be the assumption mm. you don't require there to be some space mm. outside of it and also it's possible that the universe could be infinitely big mm. and there's still stuff outside of it Good and I know that sounds uh, weird. Uh, no, no, no. Right? <laughs> the but, universe itself is weird. Okay, it because, is weird. Because it's I, the you were the one that said there's things that you expect logically and then you find no, it's not yes, that. That's yes, not the case. So you're making some I work from that. that. One of the weird things in relativity is that space and time can be transformed into from different perspectives. So what you for you is space like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me is time like. Yeah, yeah. So we could look at a universe if you're inside it, yeah. it looks infinitely big in space yeah. and finite in yeah. time. Yeah. But you could be outside of that infinitely big universe, mm. and to you, it would look like it's finite in space and infinite in time. Mm. And now, you can ask the question, well, which one is right? Mm. But in relativity, there is no right or wrong about space and time. Mm. There are different frames of reference that give different answers. Right. Yeah? And this is the thing, people come here and they debate these issues, yeah. and they're using their common sense, yeah. right? Uh, but uh, what we found about the universe is the universe does not really follow yeah, common, common sense, sense yeah. right? Mm. At the fundamental this level, the, the, the universe, I'm not saying it's illogical, but it's not commonsensical, yeah? yeah? yeah. I'm not, I'm not, you can't use your, yeah. well, yeah. you shouldn't, you, I mean, you can, <laughs> but, you know, be, yeah. wary, be wary, you know, it's often wrong. Yeah. Right, I think I am going to head home.